Hey, what's up? Back again. Talking about cub or underbone motorcycles, there is one question that is quite curious. Is it true that underbone motorcycles don't use clutches? I can assure you, all motorcycles definitely use clutch components. Whether it's a sport bikes, underbone, and even scooter, all use clutches. However, there are various types of clutches. There is a manual clutch that must be operated manually via the clutch lever. There is also a centrifugal clutch that can work automatically like the one used on automatic motorbikes. Then, what clutch does an underbone motorbike use? So this time, we will explain how the automatic clutch works on a motorbike that does not have a clutch lever. So, stay tuned! Actually, an underbone motorbike has two clutches at once. One is a manual clutch, and the other is a centrifugal clutch. This mechanism is known as a dual clutch system. So, how does this dual clutch work? Before going any further, you need to understand that the clutch is an inseparable component of a fuel-powered vehicle. That's because the clutch functions to disconnect and connect the engine rotation instantly at any time. So with the clutch, we can shift gears smoothly. We can also stop the vehicle without turning off the engine. For your clutch system on a Cub motorcycle, first there is a centrifugal clutch. As the name implies, this clutch utilizes centrifugal force to disconnect and connect the clutch. How to do it? Centrifugal force is a force that appears in rotational motion. This force is directed outward, away from the axis of rotation. If the rotation is fast, then the centrifugal force that appears is also greater. If we place a drum on this rotating load, the load will move away from the axis of rotation until it touches the drum. When the drum is touched by the rotating load, the drum will rotate. When the RPM drops, the load will be pulled back by the spring so that it returns to the axis of rotation. This makes the drum free again so that the drum does not rotate. That is the principle of how the centrifugal clutch works. The mechanism keeps the clutch disconnected when the RPM is still low. When we pull the gas of the motorbike, the clutch will be connected automatically. But we still have one problem. When the motorbike is running and we are going to change gears, it will be difficult because the clutch is already in the connected position. Therefore, underbone motorcycles are given an additional clutch, namely a manual or automatic clutch. This clutch is exactly the same as the clutch used on sport bikes. This clutch system works using a spring. So, there are two types of plates in this clutch. One is connected to the transmission part and the other to the centrifugal clutch. These two types of plates are placed alternately. When the clutch lever is not depressed, the spring will press all the plates, so that all the plates stick and it will connect the rotation of the centrifugal clutch to the transmission. But when we pull the clutch lever, these plates will stretch, so the rotation of the centrifugal clutch is not transmitted to the transmission. But the question is, does a Cub motorcycle not have a clutch lever? That's true. That's because the clutch lever on a underbone motorcycle is connected to the transmission lever. So when we press the gear lever forward or backward, it will pull the clutch lever as well. That makes this manual clutch will automatically work when we shift gears. This is what makes gear shifting on a cub or underbone motorcycle feel smooth, even though we shift gears when the motorbike is going fast. That is a brief explanation of the automatic clutch on a motorcycle. If you are interested in automotive matters, you must subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.